Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for Grade One. We are learning Unit Four. Its title is Sharing is Caring. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation and worksheet clicks are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is or modify it for your convenience. I'm going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear students, today is lecture four under the title of grammar. We are going to learn alphabetical order. Before this, in your English prim primer, you have practiced this exercise. Remember, so how did you do that? You have practiced all the letters of A, B, C in their alphabetical order, right? Remember, so what comes after A? It's B, C. This is how we did this. It means in alphabets, all the alphabets of English, they have an order, they have a sequence. We are going to learn how to arrange words in alphabetical order, okay? So, in unit one, I have taught you this practice again. You have practiced this exercise, remember, join all the letters A, B, C, D, E. So, how you have practiced it in your unit one as well. Now, we are going to learn further to arrange a list of words in alphabetical order, okay? So, what is alphabetical order? The way A, B, C is there. A comes, then B, then C, then D. This is how A, B, C is. So, this is called alphabetical order. And we are going to arrange words in this order. We are going to learn it. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah An-Nisa, verse 103. Surely... Salah is an obligation on the believers that is tied up with time. Yes, my dear children, what this beautiful verse is telling us. Better how many salahs we offer in a day? Five. Fajr, Zohar, Asr, Maghrib, Isha. So is it possible that we offer our Fajr at the time of Asr? No, because Allah is saying we offer salah on time. So, our Quran is telling us that place everything at its right place and this is called order. Order of things. What thing belongs to which place you are supposed to place there. The way we offer our salahs, our namaz on its proper time. Right? So, do you offer your namaz? Good job, beta. We should offer five times namaz every day. All right. So, if we look at this num these numbers, are they arranged? Ten is written, then eight, four. No. If I ask you, rearrange these numbers. How will you arrange it? The number which comes first, you will write it first, then second. Then this is how. So, what comes first? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, this is the right arrangement of these numbers. So, we can say these numbers are arranged in order, right? Likewise, beta, when you are given a group of words and they are not arranged, how do we arrange them? alphabetically we are going to learn it look at these letters if i ask you arrange these letters in their alphabetical order so what will you do you will keep recalling which letter comes first in alphabets what what letter comes first a so is there a yes so you will write a first and you will cut it from here what comes after b is there b mm, no b is not there what comes after b c so it's c D. E is not there. What comes after E? F. H. I. K. L. 
n, p, and q. So p is two time, we will cut it. And t and w and z. Now, is there any letter left? No. So all these letters have been arranged in alphabetical order. This arrangement is known as alphabetical order. Do you understand? Now, this practice is for letters. The same practice we can do for words. How do we do it? Let's learn it. All of you, open your book on page number 38. Alphabetical order. To put words in alphabetical order, we should look at the first letter. We should look at the first letter of each word. So whenever we are given a list of words, we will look at the first letter and we will arrange these words the way we just arranged the letters. So we will look at the first letter which comes first in ABC. We will write that word on first place. So look at this. This is C. This is A. This is G. This is B. So what comes first in ABC? A. So this word we'll write first ape, then B, ball, then C, cat, then after C, D comes, but there is no word with D, so we will skip it. And what comes next? G and its game, right? Now, these words were not alphabetically arranged, but these words are now alphabetically arranged because. The first letter are arranged in the way they come in A, B, C in alphabets. Are you clear? Okay, now let's practice it. This question 7 is given in your book. You will arrange the given words in alphabetical order. Now, this is a combination. This for these words, you will arrange them alphabetically. Again, this list and this list. How you are going to do it? You will look at the first letter and you will write the way these letters appear in ABC. You will write the complete word. That will be alphabetical order. Okay, so pause the video, complete this task in your notebooks and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. Now it's time for your homework. Write these words in your notebook after arranging in alphabetical order. So these words are given to you. You will write them in alphabetical order. This is your homework. And here is a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice. And my dear children, here you will find words and you will arrange them in alphabetical order. This is your task and in this way what we have learnt. We learnt the concept of alphabetical order. We learnt how to arrange words in alphabetical order and we practice to arrange a list of words in alphabetical order. In this way, we achieved our SLO to arrange a list of words in alphabetical order. Are we done with it? Yes, so that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning and take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.